everybody Ann here. I'm home. I'm on my porch. I'm with the girl. <laughs> she wants to jump up on me. Yeah, I'm in my summer attire. It is like, I don't know, it feels like 65 degrees or 70 maybe even. Betty, settle down. <laughs> She's such a sweet girl. So I made it to the day. Dashing was awesome. And you know what? I know what one of my next projects is going to be. It's not like a big project, but it's something I really love to do. So I'm going to show you something and I want to give, see if you can figure out what it is. Alright, it's not very light in here, but check that out. Okay, I just bought this thing, a wine, poured myself a glass, sitting out on the porch drinking it. Now this is probably the worst tasting wine you can ever get. But it is wine and, uh, you know, it's not that bad. But I wanted this big old jug. Oh, my porta potty is uncovered in the in the distance there. Gross. Um, oh, my worm bin is open. I need to close that. Um, anyhow, uh, yeah, so I want one of these because I like to make wine. So you guys will get to see wine making videos very soon. And uh, these are the good size for it. Um, I do save these caps and uh, I use them in certain various processes of it. But um, this is what I ferment them in for the long term. And um, all I need is a clean five gallon bucket and a few more of these and some wine yeast and some fruit. And I am gonna start making some wine. I am so excited. So I want you guys to help me decide um, about this insulation thing. All of that insulation in there is gonna fit in the wall just fine. And I know it's best to insulate the roof first, but what do you think of me just doing as many walls as possible? I've got some drywall. I might have, uh, I don't know, a whole bunch of drywall. I don't know if I have enough to do every wall, but just do the walls first and then do the ceiling after I can afford to get the materials for the ceiling, the, the correct batting and more drywall and all that kind of stuff. Excuse me. Um, so what would you think about that? Because I, I can get that insulation up on those walls, no problem. I don't know how to do drywall yet, but I've been watching videos and I think I can do it. So just give me your opinion on what you think about that. And um, I think that's how I'm going to salvage this uh, little uh, insulation situation. Um, and you know what? This has been such a learning experience, and it's going to be a very good outcome. I think we're all learning something along the way, and that's going to be good. So um, let me know what you think. Should I just scrap the ceiling for now, do, do the walls, and come back and do the ceiling later? Now, we are going to have a really cold night. I think it's actually tomorrow, and then one more next week. And I think that that's, we're on the home stretch towards spring. Um, and then I get to start planting. <laughs> I can't wait to start planting. I want to get these. Um, I'm going to start with containers this year because this soil. Well, here, let me let you take a look at what the soil looks like. Okay, what's underneath all that grassy type stuff is clay. It's all clay. Um, I need to closer examine the, um, the soil that's closer to the street. Um, that gets a lot of sun. You know, this is towards the end of the day, and there's not a whole lot of sun out here. But there is a lot, a lot of clay. So for me to be able to grow, I'm either going to have to only grow things that do well in clay. Uh, this area gets a lot of sun too. Or I'm going to have to maybe grow in containers and just, you know, slowly build up the soil. And maybe next year till up an area and have some soil hauled in. I'm undecided about that too. Um, I don't know. I think I'm going to go with containers and not have the hugest garden, but just have enough. Look at, look at the van. She's so dirty, I swear. That's terrible. But just have enough to, you know, uh, make sure that I, I can adapt to this climate and this environment and growing and whatnot. And, um, and then slowly build up, you know? Um, so I don't know. I think, I think that's the way I'm going to go. But I just love the view out here. There, that's a little bit better. That's all my property. <laughs> that's all mine. All mine. Mine, mine, mine. <laughs> so, anyway, 
Yeah, let me know. If you guys, if any of you know how to grow in clay soil, let me know. Um, but I think I'm going to get grow bags. Um, I've got uh, some picked out on Amazon, so why can't I find the light? It's. It, I think the light is trying to tell me something. I think it's trying to tell me that I should not be in the light. <laughs> but um, if any of you have any experience growing in clay soil and what you think I should do um, and what you think about my idea of getting containers, getting a bunch of dirt, and then reusing the dirt the next year but putting nutrients back in it because the nutrients are going to be all gone. I don't know. I am, I mean, normally I've lived in apartments before I moved in the van. I um, lived in an apartment for years and years and years. But I always had a huge patio garden. I had beans. I had, um, oh gosh, all kinds of peppers, sweet and hot. I had onions. I had tomatoes, um, squash, summer squash, um, winter squash. I even grew mel uh, watermelons one year and it was so awesome. Uh, cucumbers like crazy. Zucchini, I couldn't give them away. <laughs> but um, I, I can do that all out here. I just have to make sure I know where the most sunlight is because I've got so many trees and I don't want to cut any of the trees down. So um, I don't know. But I'm loving it out here. Oh, there's my little shed. I'm going to turn that into a chicken coop. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear, take off the, the tarps and put up like wire fencing of some kind or another. So if you guys have any ideas for how to do that, that would be amazing too. There's the girl. Man, you know what I want to do? I just want to let her run off leash. But the neighbors let their pit bulls run around off the leash. And sometimes they come over here and they're really friendly dogs. But hey, Betty. Come here, girlfriend. Come here. Give me some love. Look at this face. Look at that face. Oh my goodness, she's such a good dog. I love her. She is my buddy. Uh, but anyway, I'm just rambling. So maybe I'll cut this video short. And yes, please do leave your suggestions down in the comment section about what you think about the just doing the walls instead of the roof. I've always heard do the roof first, but can I just do the walls? Um, what you think about growing in clay soil? Can it be done? And what you think about container gardening and um, converting that shed into a chicken coop. So those are all my, my projects that are on the horizon. Um, oh, that in making the wine. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm in a great mood. So um, I'm going to cut this and I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.